Hello everyone. This is a tutorial video of a model of a 13 atom cluster made with 3860 Zen magnets. Stable 13 atom clusters can be formed by neon, argon, krypton, xenon, and gold, with one atom at the center and 12 atoms at the vertices of an icosahedron. To make this shape, you will need 12 of these pentagonal subunits. To make one of these, start by winding two pentagons of edge length six, both wound in the same direction, but one convex and one concave. So let me start with the convex one. That is a convex pentagon with edge length six. And we'll make a concave one. Then we're going to remove four magnets from each corner of one of these pentagons. One, two, three, four. And then join these two pentagon units together, matching the points of one pentagon with the gaps in the other. In order for all of the pieces of this shape to fit together correctly, their polarities need to match. For this purpose, it's useful to prepare a stack of pentagon rings from which rings can be cut and to which rings can be added as needed. The next step is to cut off a stack of six pentagon rings and to attach the right end of this stack to the center of this pentagonal subunit. So I'm going to take the right end of this and hope to attach it to the center of the pentagon. The stack should mesh into the subunit, as you can see here, with mountains in the subunit meshing with valleys in the stack. If the stack doesn't mesh, then you'll need to remove the stack from the subunit and attach the same right end to the other side of the pentagon where it should mesh. The next step is to add legs to this pentagonal subunit. This is accomplished by preparing 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 stacked rings of 12 magnets each, and then by flattening the stack. Here I'm going to flatten the stack so that the extra, there's an extra magnet that pokes out the top and the bottom of the right side. So you can see there's an extra magnet here and an extra magnet there, and no extra magnet on the left side of the structure. Then we cut the stack into five legs, each made of two rings. And then we remove one magnet from the end of each leg, from one end. 
that magnet right here on the end. And then by snapping these legs into place, and they should snap into place pointing in the same direction as the pentagon stack, like this. So they come out this way instead of going down that way. And sure enough, these snap into position just fine. If they don't, go back and remake the stack and flatten it so that the extra magnets poke out the top and bottom of the left side of the flattened stack. The next step is to build the central sphere, which is a truncated icosahedron. For this, you need to cut 12 pentagonal rings from the stack, laying them over to the right as you cut them to get the polarity right. You'll also need 20 hexagon rings of the same polarity, cut in the same way. Then assemble the sphere in such a way that the tops of the rings, as they sit on the table, face the center of the sphere. So I'm going to start off with the pent ring, and the top of the ring will be toward the center of the sphere. I'll surround that by five hexagon rings. And the next step is to place pent rings, five around the circle. and then another round of hex rings. Another round of hex rings. And then we're ready for another round of pent rings. And another round of hex. And then finally, a pent ring on the top. And that is the sphere, the truncated icosahedron. The next step then is to fill in the centers of all 20 hexagons. The next step is to add a stack of six pentagonal rings to each of the 12 pentagons on this sphere, attaching the left end of each stack to the sphere. The stack should mesh into the sphere.
and we were ready to put this whole thing together. These are designed in such a way that the legs and the different subunits will just snap together. This is a technique that I learned from our friend Magnanot. Just like that. Then we'll place the central sphere and these should mesh together if all has gone well just like that then we'll continue the construction It's quite a lovely shape and quite strong. <laughs> 